candidate A simply said that there were 154 emails. That is not possible because since we are told that we had 154 women not convicted that are in the prison, it is not reasonable to agree that all the women in the prison yard have, have not been sentenced. That is one thing. And besides, we had already been told the number 184, showing that yes, at least some, there are some others who are not in this category of awaiting trial. So, candidate A didn't get the answer. That goes with, uh, with candidate B, who answers 154 emails. That is also wrong, obviously. And in addition, we also find out that this answer is in a phrase. It's in a phrase. And answers are better when they are in sentences as candidate A wrote it, even though it's wrong. Sometimes if they are in phrases, they aren't, the meaning is not uh, sent across. The meaning does not come up and at times the candidate will fail the number. So it's always better to write in sentences, not in phrases or subordinate clauses or even in words. And so candidate C wrote 30 women, which is correct. But eventually, I think this should be wrong. I will explain why it should be wrong. Now, why should it be wrong? The question asks, how many sentenced inmates were in the Kirikiri female prison? Not just women. So to say 30 women is deviating. Why use the word women? Why not talk of inmates? Okay. Uh, well, I think we still give the candidate the answer. She got it. But you can see that underline women. Underline women. Why did I underline women? Underline women because the question says how many inmates, how many sentenced, how many sentenced inmates were in the Kirikiri female prisons?